it's okay. I told you we're not gonna stop. Yeah. Da, 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 da. You know. What is what's the name of your car? This is the Go Georgia 510, and so it's uh, it's painted Go Green from a 1970 Mopar. It's like evergreen. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I heard they're in the news right now. Yeah, they're in the news. Yeah. What's up, guys? Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We're in San Jose, California at Z Car Garage, but they don't just work on Zs. They also work on Datsun 510s, and this one is, I, I would say it's pretty famous. It's been around for a while. How long ago did you actually build this car? Uh, about 20 years ago. And so uh, I had um, spent some time with the SR20 engine in S13s. And, and so then I wanted to kind of update my 510. And so this 510 I've had, it's the first Datsun ever bought when I was a kid. I bought it on August 13th, 1994. And uh, it was turbocharged with a draw through turbo setup. So I wanted to update it. And so I did an SR swap uh, about 20 years ago. and. Um, it's just been this way ever since. And so it used to be white with, you know, all the 80s stuff, like blacked out bumpers and all that stuff. And about 20 years ago, I wanted to make it really nice and put it together. The funny thing is you did a SR swap in a car when SRs were still being made. Yeah. And they were still in brand new cars off it's, the showroom floor. Yeah, right? it's, pr it's pretty crazy. You know, uh, there's a gentleman in Southern California that's awesome, Mario Lonzo from TSR. And uh, he did a couple of SR powered 510s in LA. And I was like, man, that just makes so much sense. You get all the fuel injection, you get power, you get all this cool stuff. And I was like, but the guys that were getting those cars built, they weren't like really using them to their potential. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do an SR powered 510 and I'm gonna drive the bejesus out of it. So this car has been on Laguna Seca. It's been a Thunder Hill. It's been a button willow, so I really tried to use it wherever I could, yeah. And this is all from following people. This and is just, yeah, me being a silly person, you know, and it's just, uh, there's so many things about it when, you know, I had more time and I was younger, right? Like these are fake headlights to cover my intercooler end tanks. And so I actually, with a hacksaw, cut an H4 bulb in half and then used chrome mylar from a hobby store to make like fake headlights because I didn't want to cut my car anywhere. So this is actually a 68 grill. No way, okay, I just realized what was happening. I didn't notice this until just now, that this That's is my intercooler, the yeah. The intercooler. And so this is the thing. This is <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. This is so cool. So yeah. if I stick my finger here, I could see my finger yeah. behind there. Oh, oh no, it's no, like no, aluminum. It's, just, it's Yeah, so what it is is a piece of ABS plastic hot glued to half an H4 bulb, and it just covers my intercooler. And again, right, I was a young guy, right? It was 20 years ago, right? So I, 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 I just, I, it's so funny because I, it, you did such a good job that I didn't even notice yeah. this at all. Yeah, thank you. Huh. Well, it's super now, cool. Now that you pointed out, yeah. I can see that there's something behind there. Yeah. But um, just walking around, you know, even before we started shooting, I looked at it and I was like, oh, cool, it's a 510. but. Yeah. You did this Thank to you. just... Well, other thing that I'm really proud of is there's no mounts. I didn't want to cut my car, so I just took the brace that comes down here on the front of the radiator support, and then my intercooler is actually a swedge fit up inside the radiator, uh, the radiator support. So I'm pretty stoked on that. And then I didn't cut the car anywhere to do the swap, which I was really pumped about. And then the, the other reason, you know, I run a 185. I run a small tire, so like when you come back here, it just looks like a vintage 510. Yeah. But, you know, it, it makes 400 horsepower at the tires and about 375 foot-pounds of torque. Okay. And it makes, uh, you have 185s in the rear? I do. So you can't fit any bigger tires under there? I just think it's kind of cool, right? It's a Hayes' tires and it's just, you know, I used to have bigger wheels and tires on it. But, you know, again, this car, you know, just, I share it with Alvin, right? It stays at Alvin's house. It comes here and we just, we just spend time and we're always, we're always going to be together. Let's take a look at the sure. engine bay. You got it. So built 20 years ago. Yes, sir. Still loved my today. Fir my first Datsun, and I'm never gonna get rid of it. I just, we're gonna, we're gonna finish life together. Whoa, all green. So did you take this down to bare metal? 
I, I did. It's actually a pretty, it's a pretty sad story, but I guess it has a cool ending. Um, so again, this car was white in the nineties and I was really into it. It had a draw through turbo setup on it and the G tech accelerometer came out. They had that really cool tagline. That was, uh, the G tech magazines tested it. Now they test with it. And you could do zero to 60 in quarter mile passes. And so I was on this little back road of highway and there's a curse of five tens. So pay attention to this young people. The hood can easily come up on a five ten. And so I was doing a G tech power run and at the top of third gear, my hood came up. And so it folded over, it bashed in my roof and it ripped my cow panel off. And so it forced me, into the second restoration of this car. And so I was like, well, I always wanted it to be green. So I was going to paint it green and then do the SR swap. Hmm. So forced into it, but from every tragedy comes something wonderful. And so reborn in green. Okay, so, and then this is uh, red top. It's a, a green uh, top actually. Right, well, green top it now, It started yeah. life as a red top, yes sir. Correct, yep, and then it's got 740cc injectors and it has a 3071 turbo, an external wastegate, uh, Z32 mass airflow meter. This is a CNR racing radiator that I actually made a drawing of a 510 one. So again, I could just bolt it in like a 510 radiator. I even undid the whole harness loom so that I didn't have to cut the harness hole for my 510. Does this normally go inside? No, it goes right there. That's oh. the factory location. Uh, yeah. So then, um, like, what did you do anything to the internals? Is a stock not internal? um, so at the beginning, I was trying to just get it together, and so I started this build in January, and I finished it by July because that was the all dots and meet the Mount Shasta all dots and meet. So I finished it then, and then that engine was just you know I bought a front clip for Japan, and I put it in and did all of that stuff, and then. Um, Maybe in 2004, no, maybe two, no, maybe 2000, somewhere in the 2000s, the engine failed. And so then I built an engine for it. So now it has a Rebello bottom end and it's got cams and it's just, it's awesome. Hmm. Yeah, fun car. Yeah, this is a. Thank you. It's, it's so, I can't wait for you to ride in it. It's overwhelming yeah. in terms of this chassis was never meant for this much power. This is four times the amount of power that this chassis was meant for. That's, right? what I, that's what I love about road racing, the 510, the vintage 510s, because that's the 510 that streetcar guys fell in love with, right? Because it's just enough power to move it around and do it. This is too much, but it's fun, you know? And this is, you know, again, this car stayed fresh in my life because we've done so many builds together, right? We've done a Turbo Toms, Turbo Kid in it. You know, we've done all these things. We've done the SR that was just a, a wrecking yard engine for Japan. And then now it's a all out war. 510. It looks great. Thank you. I really uh, appreciate it. What about, uh, tell me about the wheel tire brakes package. Yeah, it's an older set of Panasports from my hoard of stuff. And then uh, these components, uh, Troy Ermish makes a brake kit, but he uses a Willwood caliper and I'm not a Willwood guy. And so this is an AFCO uh, caliper that they use on circle track cars. And so it has the same piston diameters and everything. And then StopTech makes those for AFCO, and so that's why they're on my car. And so I have AFCO front and rear uh, calipers, and then I have an SR5 speed, and then I have a 411 R180 with an OS Geekin. Hmm. Okay, because you work with StopTech pretty closely now to develop the Z Car Garage Correct. brakes yep. that are available for the 240Z or pretty much any uh, Z chassis. Yeah, the, the, the 240, the 260, and the 280 all get our brake kit, it bolts right on. It works wonderfully. And we actually have uh, close to 100 of those out in the world now, all over the world. And then, you know, the CV axles that we put into your car, we have those all over the place too. And then we're debating, we just don't know yet, but we're thinking about making Z Car Garage brakes for, for 510s just for the simple fact is, you know, we got those handful of guys that we take care of their 510s. And the other part of it too, it's like, you know, we really do dedicate our lives to the Z Car. I love 510s because we obviously, you know, that's what got me my start into Datsuns, but, you know, primarily the focus of the shop is the Z Car.
are 1970 to present day. Mm. Hence the name Z Car Garage. That is correct. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, just all kinds of stuff like you know you you know the build was done a long time ago when your radio right when your Sony radio you know is from the late 90s early 2000s and then when you're running a, uh, isn't that the Explode series yeah, from back then? Yeah, That's yeah. what I was going to say. Explode series. Explode. You know what's up? It explodes. I believe they call that old school. Yeah. So you could hit that little button and make more bass. And then you know it's the first dots and I ever got to like do a real interior. These are like Recaro-ish seats from a V-Dub and I had the little dots and logo put on them and my little belts and just all kinds of cool stuff. And you know, I've got a tachometer, no speedo, and then the boost gauge, right? Because when you're a young man and you've got a turbo car, all you care about, how much boost am I making? You're kidding. What? Yeah, no, no speedometer, Why? just a boost gauge. Why? I'm not going to stop if the cops pull behind me. And then look <laughs> at this. Look, you know that you're old when your Momo steering wheel is starting to separate. Look at that. It's been on here so long, it's starting to separate. That's so cool. And then people started to call my uh, car Kermit. So it's got a little Kermit button. And then these are all my membership pieces from the All Dots and Meat, which was incredible. Like the Shasta days were amazing. I like this. Look, you integrated oh, yeah. this little uh, Gretty turbo well, timer. Well, again, right? right? This is before Z Car Garage, right? And so I was a technician in a specialty shop and learning how to do all these cool things. And then you have to apply it to your own car at night. So I did my boost controller in my ashtray so that I could service it. So if I ever had a failure, I could pull it out and check it out. Plus, I thought it was cool that I could get in there and, you know, make it all look like it was meant to be there. So just awesome. And I was trying to think, like, you know, you know you're old when you, uh, you know, you got all your old CDs in there and, and all that. So just super cool. But, yeah, this was in my 510 in my glove box the day I got it. I don't even know what it is, but it was in there, and so now it stayed there. And oh, it's probably so it doesn't there. make any noise yeah, when you have sure. a bunch of stuff in there. But just pretty bitching. So yeah, so this is my first Datsun that I ever bought, and we're still together. This is the one that got you into This is it. Yeah, I bought this car totally disassembled. So then what did you do? Did what? you hear that door shut, Larry? Yeah. We'll go back to that when we do your car. It sounds good. What did you do in terms of suspension, arms? You got it. So it has ground control coilovers. It has Satiko five ways from back in the day. It's got uh, an SR front sway bar. And then I wanted to hide everything, right? So it's got adjustable camber plates in it, but they're all hidden underneath the factory strut cap. This is a, a like a little trunk plug that goes in a Datsun and I use that to delete my wipers. This is a JWT pop charger, right? And so I just tried to use wherever I could Nissan, right? This is a frontier throttle cable off a frontier truck hmm so this is this area is so much cleaner without the windshield wipers yeah. yeah looks really nice i'm again i i love this car and we've done so many cool things together and uh, like i said we'll, we'll we'll be together forever uh l let's look take, take a look at the rear end because from the outside body wise nothing has changed huh you would never see it coming sir hmm yeah. The only thing that you would really notice is the sound that's coming from this. It's pretty quiet, actually. Really? Yeah. Huh. So what did you do for the exhaust then? It just, it used to have a three inch exhaust with uh, no muffler and be really loud and crazy. And now it just has a, I think it has like a Borla XR1 or something old. Or no, it's, you've got a, I think, yeah, I think it's got an XR1 that's just all painted, painted black and it's like a two and a half inch. So it, it works really well. Again, it, it doesn't have any trouble getting out of its own way, I tell you that. Pretty powerful car. What about the rear end and also transmission? Yeah, SR, SR510, uh, SR5 speed and then an R180 limited slip rear end 411. So, and then again, it's cool when it had, um, gosh, like maybe 2003 or whatever, when it was making like 330 horsepower, uh, the Z06 Corvette, like whatever the Z, like the C5 vet in that era, I went to the drag strip and I was turning more mile an hour than them. And the vet guys were asking me about it. They're like, what's up in your 510, man? It's got turbos. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just has a turbo. It just has this thing that yeah. spins really fast. Yep, exactly. Incredible. Thanks. I, I, I like how it sits too. Thank it, you. It sits really low. Thanks. Um, you know, you didn't do over fenders or anything, I know. Uh, Sometimes it could be a little much, you know, if you sure. go too crazy on the body, 
Um, but the fact that you kept it a stock body, it Thank really you. is a sleeper in every single way, except for the fact that it's green, lime yeah. green. Yeah, and again, right, I picked that. I always wanted, I always wanted a car that color. And so my 240Z has painted this color too, my first Z. It's in hiding right now, but it, it's super cool. And I love this car. And I love the fact that all of my friends that I got into Datsuns with, they all, you know, are, are, are doing their thing. And a couple of them have their cars left, but we're together still and we're still doing it. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go take it for a ride and uh, see how it drives. So we've been driving 240Zs all day. And then as soon as you get into 510, it's a completely different seating position. It sure is. And it's just, well, it's a box. One of my favorite boxes. Yeah, it's a great box. Whoa, and the shifter is so low. Yeah. Interesting. You know, again, there's so many things about this car I did 20 years ago, but I don't go back and change a bunch of them because it's where I was at yeah. and what I was doing, right? Just there's certain things about it that, you know, could be different if I built the car again today, but it's just, it's just my first 510. super stoked on this car just because again I tried to make it you know nice to drive and enjoy right that's why I made it quiet again after it was really loud and obnoxious for a while so I haven't been in it in a while so let me get a few minutes to uh, get to my bearings Whoa. Lightweight weight then, huh? Yeah, this car weighs 2,160 pounds, I think. Yeah, it's super lightweight. Yeah, and so it only runs on 100, so um, it's got 100 octane and about 18 pounds of boost and makes a little over 400 horsepower and 370 foot pounds. Like I said, we're also, you know, delivering that through a 185.60, you know, 14. 14 inch yeah, wheel. 14. Oh, yeah. So, but it's got a, it's got a good passing here. Okay. I see why you beat that Z06. We got a Z06 right there. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It's just cool. <laughs> Later, dude. Oh my god. It, it feels like there's no lag at all. No, it's a good combo. It's nice. It's geared nicely too for its power level, but it's just a fun driver, right? This thing is crazy. Yeah, so here we'll just. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. Yeah, so this car's super drivable. As long as you just respect the pedal, the power pedal. No kidding. 185s. Yeah, 185s. You'll see here when I take off, and then I'll let you drive it. But it's a it's a traction challenged. That's for sure. Maybe you want to wait for the cop to go. Nah, it's okay. I told you we're not gonna stop. Yeah. I like you. But you're crazy. I think that would be the bad, the proud moment, right, when we have to text your wife to send bail money. again too like this yeah. yeah all it does is just lay down fat rubber holy yeah pretty cool that is crazy. i like too in the rolling right because just like it's just so you know you know you're pretty much this thing is so fast yeah you're pretty much not making traction ever so, but that's what's cool about it, right? Just a fun little cruiser. You are just insane. Nah. It, it, it is fighting for traction the whole time. Yeah, well, no, we didn't make any traction. Yeah. I just, again, I've driven it a bunch, right? Just be careful when you drive it, but please have at it. But it, I mean, it, it, it really helps for it to be so lightweight. It does, yeah. And the other big thing about it too, it's just if I was trying to make it make traction I would run a different tire combo it's just it looks really good this way and since I'm the only one that drives it you know I can control it 
Uh, plus, so I'm sure it's a more fun way to drive sure. this thing. Now too. let me lend it to a friend and see how he does. What's also deceiving about this car is is the fact that it's actually pretty quiet until you get on it. Oh yeah. And the clutch is like the the Japanese clutch that came with my front clip, so Whoa. it's pretty immediate. You wheel the hell out of this thing. No traction. None whatsoever. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, the at least it tracks pretty yeah, straight. Yeah, it does, yeah. It actually tracks really, oh, really it, straight. It feels pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it does everything it's supposed to do. Yeah. But it's nothing like, uh, you know, the 510s that we road race. But it's a fun street car. Hit it! Oh my god. No, I, I, it's too much. It's. <laughs> it's it's I know. it's a little much. It is. I 400 horsepower. Yeah, and 2100 pounds with a 185 you're, tire. You're able to no. You're able to beat cars so much with so much more power. Sure. Just because this it's is lightweight, so lightweight. Yeah. And it goes to a corner pretty good. You just have to you know, yeah, right. Yeah. You have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. In third gear, it barely has traction. Correct. Now that we've made the tire warm. Yeah. So that's the thing is like some of the other Zs, including uh, Mrs. Butters uh, that I drive, that you, you've built, it's so confidence inspiring. This is balls to the walls crazy. <laughs> like yeah. this is scary to yeah. drive. Like I said, right, this is 20 years ago, right? So. But I mean, part of it is by design. It, short wheelbase, Correct. small tires, yeah. lots of boost. Sure, yeah. And it look, I mean, again, it looks so nice with the small wheels and tires. It's worth it. Yeah. The risk is worth it. And it just makes a hell of a burnout video. Incredible. Yeah. I can't believe, I love the fact that it's just a boost gauge instead of a speedometer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob. <laughs> 20 years ago, Rob. Amazing. All right, oh give her the gun. Give her the gun. Oh my god. No, it's too much yeah, power. Yeah. Too much power. <laughs> it's just too much. It's actually too much power. Watch out for the humans. The fact that third it barely... Third gear, third gear. Put it into third. Put it into third. Jam it. Feel it. Oh my god. Even little, any little bump oh, yeah. will, will make oh, it lose yeah. traction. Oh, yeah. Any little bump. Yeah, but I think the brakes are pretty good for, you know, yeah. not being Z Car Garage brakes yet. Oh my god. This is this is one of one of the craziest cars I've ever driven because it's just so so loose. No traction. 185s. What car comes with 185s now? The smart car. Maybe the rear of the smart car. I don't know just crazy yeah the other cars that i've been driving confidence inspiring this thing uh, my pits are sweaty <laughs> my palms are sweaty sure. um i'm sweating my my forehead is really sweaty i'm just like it's it's like this dance of you trying to like keep traction going the dance of the dime yeah cool so yeah. why is it called a dime car again 510 oh yeah yeah but that's a nickel and dime. Yeah, it is. But we'll just call it dime. There you go. It's killer. Yeah, and again, like I said, <laughs> this is the car that started it all for me. I so see. Totally, I see why. You just uh, just had a draw through turbo set up all through the '90s, and then in the early 2000s, that's when we did the SR. Super cool. You have to be a really good driver to get all the speed out of this thing. Yeah, that's why I don't really, you know, it's like, that's why I just enjoy it. You know, I take it out and cruise it around a bit. And I don't try to push the envelope in it because I don't anything, want anything to happen to it. Because it's our, you know, it's my first, it's my first one and I still have it. And it's just, that's why I don't update it. That's why I'm not getting all crazy and changing the gauges out. It's like, this is what was going on in my life 20 years ago, right? My Explode, my Sony Explode stereo, right? Without the finisher plate because I was impatient. It's like... It's just stuff like that. It's just super cool. And like the first time where I had money to do a headliner, you know, and do all that stuff and just make a car super nice. And I love this 510 and me have just, we've done so many cool things together.
This is like the raddest Japanese hot rod. Oh, yeah. Five tens, man. They're, they're so cool. And again, you know, you and I talk about it all the time, man. Like the trifecta from Nissan, the Roadster, the 510 and the 240Z, right? Like one car company could get lucky with one iconic sports car and Nissan made a habit of it. Mm-hmm.